All right, the second tool is one of the most common tool in MS Excel and that is the conditional formatting tool. So here in sheet CF1, we are still on the same file. It says here, highlight all cells below 1,700, use red fill color. So instead of you doing this manually, like indicating or looking for those values yourself, what you could do is highlight the cells that are part of the data that you want to put color on. Go to home and then under home, look for conditional formatting. And then under conditional formatting, there will be several options there. It says either greater than, less than, between, equal, text that contains dates or duplicate values. So our concern was highlight cells that are below or less than 1,700. So highlight cells less than. Now Excel will have a certain number by default. It will also display what's going to happen in your data. So there's a preview going on. So I will change it to 1,700. And then you could choose the color that you want. You have here red, you have yellow, you have green. So it's up to you. You even uh, have the option to customize the color that you want. But I'll just go for red and then click OK. And mission accomplished. So you now have all cells below 1,700 turning into red. And the good thing about this is that the format is already waiting in the cell. So if I have a cell which previously doesn't have any formatting, but suddenly the value changed into the criteria that we indicated there, less than 1,700, that cell will automatically change its color. Same if you're going to do something in reverse. Let's say you have a cell that is formatted because of conditional formatting. And then the value increased, so it's now not included in our criteria or criterion. So the cell color will also change back to normal. So just a recap, let's say I want all cells more than 2,800 to turn green. Then just highlight those cells, go to home, conditional formatting, Highlight cells, choose the option that you want. For now, I'll go for greater than, greater than 2,800. I'll go for a green color, click OK, and that's it. You now have green color for all cells less than 2,800.